Atlanta United Fan TV, nil-nil draw. Unfortunately, we lose 3-1 in penalties to Leonis Negros. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there was a trophy involved. So we I missed guess. out on the coveted uh, whatever trophy that was. Yeah. Beautiful trophy. Right, but, right. Um, yeah, either way, though, the you know the squad gets a lot of minutes mm -hmm. in, and especially some of our starters, and so that's very important. Mm -hmm. But – Prayers up for oh, Miles Robinson. Right, exactly. Um, like Jason mentioned, the encouraging thing is that he got up and he walked off. Um, you, I think we are assuming that him coming off at that time is precautionary, but it, it's a shame because, yeah, the starters did, for the most part, play full 90s. And so uh, you kind of wonder where that leaves Miles in terms of fitness with a week left, you know, until an, an actual match. So... Um, and yeah, he hasn't gotten a chance to play, I, I think, a full nine days preseason. So hopefully, you know, we'll have to see. We'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, this was a, a classic preseason match. You know, the most important thing was the conditioning. Um, they got at us, you know, they, um, they outplayed us at times. You know, I think at times, Elaine and I looked disjointed in the play. You know, you saw at times players getting each other way, and you could argue that Leonis should have had two, maybe three goals even. You know, you think probably probably not a second division team puts those away. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. You know, um, in terms of uh, individual performances, stand out to me, uh, PD did a lot of work on the ball, and he was picking up the ball deep. And that is something I'm curious to see because, you know, it's kind of assumed in the – how we, in this – of a three-five-two setup, that uh, that Barco's in the midfield and Petey's up top. But you know, Barco getting forward, I think making those runs is good. And then Petey dropping deep, he can pick out a long pass. You know, and he I can. think the interchange. Yeah, exactly. Like we wanted the flow. I think is um, is is actually encouraging. And so yeah, like Petey uh, did stand out to me because of that. Um, speaking of flow, like players like Anton Walks, we saw him play literally two different positions. Uh, we saw Brooks Lennon switch from the right side to the left side, you know? Um, so I thought that was uh, pretty interesting as well. Um, and just going back to BD real quick, he had a couple of dangerous passes. You know, he won't, obviously he didn't register an assist tonight, but yes, he, he had some that were really close to Joseph's head or Joseph's foot. And, you know, it's like, yeah, again, it's preseason, so like you're not expecting perfection, but I think that is encouraging and hopefully they can click uh, when it matters. Right. I think there was uh, some reports that LA United would switch from a three uh, back line to a four man back line. So uh, I think we definitely saw that. And I mean, what are the, the returns on uh, what you saw for a four man back line? George Campbell kind of forced uh, to play at left back and mm -hmm. pretty much learn on the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all things considered, um, I was actually pretty impressed with Campbell. Um, look, center back depth, I think, is something that's on our minds. You know what I mean? Um, if he. <laughs> I really don't want to depend on have to depend on the kid because he's a kid. But you know, if he uh, if he can be you know grow more comfortable, be a little more assured. I mean, he's a tank, <laughs> and uh, he's actually he's pretty decent on the ball as well. So um, I thought Campbell, yeah, being thrown into that situation, pretty encouraging from him. Mesa to me also stood out because it looks like um, he's willing to step into midfield. Um, I think especially when Miles was still in the game and Mesa was off to the left. Um, he was, like, moving forward a little bit, making himself available for that pass. And then, like, uh, when he moved to the center, um, he actually, like, carried the ball himself, uh, made that – it didn't, like – it didn't go over the top, but it did bypass a couple of defenders, his passing. And uh, I think that's something that we definitely want to see from at least one of our center backs to, you know, kind of relieve the – uh, responsibility of the build-up from the midfield. Because, you know, if it's if it's just, yeah, we're looking for that short, quick midfield pass or it's like on the midfield, then I think we've seen in the past where teams would press down on the midfield and force us to play backwards, force us to be, uh, force us to move the ball laterally instead of vertically. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, Mesa, yeah, Mesa, I think... Uh, Looked looked pretty assured tonight, and uh, uh, I think he's he's gonna be especially with Miles like now being short on fitness. I think Mesa is gonna be extremely important over the next two three weeks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, definitely though. Uh, in terms of I think Joseph Martinez, a game of almost, and but mm -hmm. he scores his penalty. Um, yeah, I think. I think we can see that he probably would have a better touch, probably finish some of those chances that he had in this match. Absolutely, yeah. I'm not worried about preseason Joseph at all. Like, you know, as far as, and like, as, as really for a lot of the mistakes, you know, it's like just, just 
get them out of your system now. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not expecting perfection. And then, like, the fitness, I think, was part of it as well. And so, um, you know, early on, they were falling. Adeline and I were falling back effectively, I think, as the match wore on. Maybe there were some gaps, especially with uh, with subs coming in. Mo Adams came in. Eric Rometty came in. And so, Rometty... Um, Rometty was interesting to me as well because he's uh his play in general I thought he was aggressive like you know getting forward some of his passing you know he was looking for those uh, line breaking passes and um it's good to see from him I, I'm curious to see what Rometty's role is in this team because in this midfield you know is he the is he the the midfielder in front of the back line you know does he shield the back line or is he uh does he come in for a Hyman or Rosetto you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I mean, like two years ago, he was pretty important to the to the team, and I think he can be again. So, yeah. were we missing a uh, Hoseto in uh, in this match? I mean, someone that could uh, keep the ball in midfield and not have to force Barco to you know uh, carry the ball and then or drop deep and carry the ball. I mean, it's it's something that uh, I think. We are missing, obviously, from Nagby. We might have to play a little bit more one-twos and really to get ourselves up the pitch, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, and, yeah, in terms of Rosetto, or Rosetto, uh, Rosetto. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I liked what, – what I liked from seeing – what I liked from him versus uh, Birmingham was, you know, obviously like his his silky touch, you know, the way he escaped pressure and then yeah looked for those uh, aggressive passes. So, I think I think we did miss that. Um, just curious to see if he plays. You know what I mean? Because yeah, it seemingly was visa issues right, or right, you know right. they're just sorting it out. So, right. uh, hopefully he you know does travel with them to Honduras yeah, exactly. but uh yeah let's talk about the penalty shootout I mean really innocuous at the end of the day but sure. uh did the order surprise you at all a little bit I think um I mean at least from what I'm used to seeing from my teams like typically your best penalty taker comes up fourth or fifth um and which is Joseph for us obviously um yeah, you hope in a real situation, uh, guys like Hyman, like Barco, uh, can take better penalties. I think Larry's a penalty taker for sure if he's on the field. So, um, and then we never we didn't get to see Petey take one. I would like, in general, I would like to see Petey get that opportunity because you know he wanted to last season. The one time he did, or the most notable time, it didn't work out so well for him. So I hope he gets a chance to rectify that. Um, but yeah, it's a. I think you got a preview of who I think our penalty takers would be in a big situation. Yeah. So yeah, at the end of the day, a very preseason type of match. Mm-hmm. But uh, at you know wh- what we really, really, really worry about is just the fitness. And so yeah. again, it's uh, prayers up for Miles Robinson. Prayers up for Miles. Exactly, that's a big thing. But uh, overall, you know. We'll see. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> too discouraged. I am concerned about uh, some holes in the squad here or there, which I'm sure we'll get into. But, uh, but overall, you know, it's a we're a week out, and shoot, man, let's get this going. Yeah.